Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Marry My Husband episode 56. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of this episode with my cat logo and everything else. Uh, so if you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone who wants to read this without any filter or any censorship and all that good jazz, definitely check it out on my Patreon page, which is at patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Woo! <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> Man. I try to do it as quick as possible and as painless, but you never know. Correctional facility. Rehabit- I can't ever say that word like fast. Rehabilitation for a, br a brighter future. Suru 673, you have a visitor. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's time to... Long time no see, Suman. Cut you out of my life completely. Marry my husband, episode 56. What brings you here, Jiwon? Did something happen? I'm guessing something serious happened. <laughs> Such as the wedding getting called off. That must be why she's here. No, nothing really happened. Things with ji are still great, too. Uh-uh. What? You guys are still together? Why? What do you mean, why? Because we're happy together. No, impossible. He now knows that ji comes from a crappy family. Why is he still with her? What's with that face? Are you disappointed that things didn't go your way? Even after you tried to use my mother to sabotage our relationship? I always wondered why. You hated me so much. What did I ever do to you? So tell me. Dun -dun. Is it my fault that my mom and your dad got together? Is it really my fault that they left their respective families? Uh, uh, G1. Uh, uh, your very existence is a crime itself. Are you going to raise Zuman yourself? Then I want to bring G1 here too. How do you expect me to leave my own daughter and raise someone else's child? Jiwon's mom said she's only raised me if she could raise Jiwon as well. And in the end, my dad left me for her. <laughs> Everything was taken from me. My happiness and my dad. You took everything from me, Jiwon. If it weren't for you, my life wouldn't have been so miserable. It's all your fault! I blame you. You're just as distasteful as your cheating mom. How dare you try to live a happy life? <laughs> I should have ran you over with that car that day. Suman, I pity you. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? You're a loser with zero fashion sense, okay? It's time to face reality, Suman. Which one of us is the loser here? Dun dun. Huh? You can't take anything from me. Because now I have the power to protect what is mine. I said everything I wanted to say, so I'm going to go now. She's leaving already? No, then I'll be left all alone again. <laughs> Wait, there's, a, there's still some time left. I don't have any more time to spare. There's someone waiting for me outside. Then let's talk more next time. You have to come back. Don't, don't, don't leave me alone. Don't leave. <laughs> Please, Ji-Won. 
we're we're best friends, remember? I'm sorry, but I don't want anything to do with you anymore. <laughs> Have a good life, Suman. Goodbye. At one point in my life, you made me very happy. And at another, you caused me unbearable pain. <gasps> this marks the end of our long, ill-fated relationship. Uh -oh. Huh? Mm. Ding dong. Welcome, Miss Guardian Angel. The We're so honored to have such a wonderful guest over at our humble abode. Abode? Abode. Hello, brother. Thank you for gracing this wonderful abode with your humble presence. I feel like it should be the other way around. <laughs> Hello, uh, Chairman Yu and Miss Cha. Thank you for inviting me today. <laughs> Welcome. My mom took extra care to make sure the food was perfect, and my grandpa dressed to the nines today. <clears throat> I wanted to look my best for this special occasion. Dinner's ready, so let's go to the dining room. <laughs> Happy birthday, Miss K. There's plenty of food, so please help yourself. Happy birthday, Jiwon. Miss Guardian Angel, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Jiwon. Thank you all so much. I'm not sure if I deserved all this. Of course you do. I'm sure dating Chi Yuk has not been easy. Please enjoy the food and the cake. <laughs> all right then. Thank you again. Mm. Mm? <laughs> do you like the food? How is it? Is it delicious? <laughs> You're going to make my girlfriend sick. <laughs> Huh? Then go get her a glass of water. Yeah, he called her his girlfriend. My heart feels warm. <laughs> this must be what happiness is. Thank you so much for today. I had a great time. So did we. <laughs> we'll get going then. Ah, I almost forgot. Here, G1. It's a letter I wrote for your birthday. Please read it later. Uh, did you write it yourself, Miss Cha? Of course, and from now on, please call me Mother. <laughs> oh, no. Now, that will make me cry. If, like, I were to date someone and their mom loved me so much, or their dad, and they're like, yeah, like, no, call me mom, or call me dad. Like, I would cry. Not gonna tear up. <laughs> you and Chihuk began dating each other after you moved into the apartment I bought for Huyun. So that makes you my daughter, too. I think it was fate that brought us together. Okay, thank you. Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ji Won. I'm so glad that Chi Yuk is dating a wonderful woman like you. As his mother, I want to take this opportunity to thank you. I know that there are hateful comments being directed at you for dating the UNK group chairman's grandson. I also heard similar things back when I was seeing Ji Yuk's father. Please don't pay attention to what people say and beat yourself up over the negative comments. Instead, use that time to have more conversation with the people you love. Happy birthday from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, mother. I'll cherish and nurture the relationships I have with the people I care about. Hmm. Did you have a good nap? Your birthday isn't over yet. Huh? I didn't know I fell asleep. Where are we? 
the sun, since today is a special day. I wanted to take you somewhere special for the briefing I prepared. What? This was such a touching episode. Ah, oh, one, yes, serve Suman right. I hope she actually realized now she is alone. No one is there for her. No one wants to be affiliated to her. Like she's alone now. She's. I don't know, I feel like she's still gonna find ways to harass if this is like, I don't know if this is like the finale finale kind of deal. I don't know what's going on or if the story's gonna keep going. But yeah, serve her right. And for Jiwon and Jihyuk, like, it's finally gonna happen. I wonder if she's gonna like accept it now and say yes and be part of the family. Because they all adore her. The grandfather, the mother, the sister, like... She now knows what it's like to be part of a family. And I hope she accepts and carry on and have her own family. Like, you know, like, that's just so beautiful. To call, to call his mom mother. Like, yeah, call me mother. Like, that really, that got me, like, my emotions, like, everywhere. Ugh, I hate how sensitive I am. But all right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!